Welcome to the Daily Pissed, where we take the piss out of petty internet drama every single day. Today we're going to be talking about how Dream's a bit of a pussy, and uh, yeah, let's get on with the video. First story comes from Twitter, so for context, Phil's had tweeted this, Dream's the funniest cellmate of Minecraft, and then it started a whole beef between Dream, Philza, and Tommy about their titles. Basically, Tommy was pretty mad at Philza because he, you know, Philza was kind of taking the piss out of him because his titles are so repetitive, it's, it's actually kind of funny in my opinion. Dream was claiming how he taught him titles, so basically, Dream takes credit for teaching him titles, and actually, Tommy claims that Wilbur Sutt helped him more. And also he shows how his social blade just goddamn popped off when he met Dream. And he showed how his social blade was pretty stagnant before he met Dream. And when he met Wilbur Sutt, his social blade wasn't nearly as strong as it was with Dream. He even exposed some private DMs about Tommy asking about YouTube. Now, I think this is kind of dumb, right? It's not because of Dream that he got popular, it's because of the Dream SMP. Now, why am I classifying these as different entities? Well, simple, because the Dream SMP is a group of creators, not just Dream. Well, yes, the SMP was created by Dream. Dream, it doesn't mean that it's all his credit. Let's take a look at his most popular videos, right? Yes, some of them are about Dream, but they're about a lot of other creators as well, where he met on the Dream SMP. So I don't think taking credit for his fame in this department is pretty good on Dream's part, because mostly he just, uh, you know, He's kind of a fucking douchebag. I know, like, I've heard him think that he's an instant success on YouTube, like, when he was smaller. And the fact that he used to promise people shoutouts, but he never did them. I'm not exactly sure if any of these things are true, but I've definitely heard them on the internet. Especially in Turkey Tom's video, which you can see the picture of right here. I'm just gonna push it aside. Because... We're not talking about that, you dipshit. Anyways, so after this debate, kind of seemed like a beef between them. Dream just said that he was joking all this time. What? Alright, let me teach you jokes 101. There are multiple types of jokes. There's dark humor, but obviously Dream wouldn't do that because he's trying to be politically correct. He's a massive influencer, so no dark jokes on Twitter. Nah, nah, nah. Don't upset the fans, man. Don't do that. There's also scatological humor. I don't think Dream talks about shit in his tweets, so I don't think that counts. And there's also whatever this is. He's trying to pass it off as humor. Who finds this funny? Literally exposing DMs and taking accountability for someone's success is apparently funny. It's not. Like, if anyone finds this funny, then I guess the tweet makes sense to them. I guess? You know, when you don't laugh at a joke, at least you can understand the fact that it's a joke, the fact that it's supposed to be funny, the fact that it's meant to have something humorous. It's just dumb, really. Like, Dream, stop being such a pussy and admit the fact that you weren't joking, that you actually got mad, and that you wasted 25 minutes of your day typing on your keyboard about the fact that you're right and Tommy is wrong. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty dumb. But you know what the weirdest part is? The most peculiar part in general. The fact that Tommy and Philza instantly said that, yeah, they agreed that it was a joke. What the fuck? I guess they were just, like, they didn't really know what to say in the situation because, honestly, I think Tommy was joking more so than Dream. Dream was actually showing stats, he was actually exposing DMs, so he was taking it to the next level, but Filza and Tommy, they were just like, Yeah, 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 this is joke, this is funny, funny, funny. Shut up, all of you, shut up. We know that Tommy and Filza just said it so that they can be, you know, politically correct, so that they can actually end this because they, they just got mad about spending like 25 minutes of their time typing on their keyboards to be like, no, 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 Dream, you're wrong, fuck you, Dream. Yeah, it's basically just that. Petty influencer drama, basically the things that I'm gonna be covering on this channel. You know what, I, I think Dream's a pussy, along with Tommy and Filza, because them agreeing to being a joke is just really dumb in my opinion. While yes, they may have been clearly taking it well as a joke, Dream was literally exposing private DMs from Tommy. So basically, the ones who were joking were Tommy and Philza, but at the same time, they accepted the fact that exposing DMs apparently is a joke from Dream's part, which is super dumb. All right, this was the first thing. And the other thing comes from Hugbox from YouTube. Basically, Hugbox was a member of the Lunch Club, and the Lunch Club, if you don't know, was basically Tommy Carson and like three other creators, I think. I'm just joking. I don't fucking know anything about them, and honestly, I don't really give a shit, but I guess this is a good segue to introduce them in this video. So basically, he had an interview with Dream, and what Dream said is he asked him about the fact that people are drawing underage porn of his friends Tommy and Tubbo and why he doesn't acknowledge it. And he said that he doesn't do it because he doesn't want to continue the situation and escalate it further. I'm gonna roll the clip. When I asked him why he wouldn't stand up to those that were sexualizing underage people among his fan base, he simply said that it would make it worse. And that's like such 
a ridiculously small percentage that to me it's not even worth acknowledging like by acknowledging it you make that percentage go up now you know what the problem is with this clip dream you have not even tried to see if it works plus let me tell you something tommy himself acknowledged the fact that he's really uncomfortable with this stuff and plus tommy has a huge following get the fucking sub count on the screen see this this is a very big sub count but you know what the thing is it's the fact that dream doesn't even try to see if it works because he instantly assumes no it's not gonna work because it's gonna escalate it further have you even goddamn tried it? If you would truly care, then you would probably at least acknowledge it. I mean, your goddamn stands are so obsessive that they can make the fact that you actually wrote that tweet goddamn trending so that they could get the word around. You could just tweet out, Hey, pedophilia is bad. Please stop fucking drawing porn of Tommy and Tubbo. Again, let me remind you the fact that Tommy and Tubbo themselves acknowledge the fact that they aren't comfortable with NSFW being drawn of them. Both people with huge subscriber amounts and both people that share a large amount of their fan base with you. So you have no excuse for not at least acknowledging the the fact that porn is being drawn of them on your Twitter or on your channel in general. So you have no excuse for not doing that. All right, well, that was the video. Conclusion, dreams a pussy. I'm pretty sure if my dream videos would get popular, if I would make just a lot of dream videos and they would all get popular, I'm pretty sure dream would be like, I'm responsible for your success. Uh, anyways, if you like this video, then do the stuff that YouTubers tell you to do, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and piss off.